We're back. And in today's video, I wanted to teach you guys about custom objects within Go High Level. Objects or custom objects are such a powerful feature that when Varun was asked what is in his opinion the most exciting feature for 2024, 2025, he said custom objects. And Varun said that because custom objects allow you to personalize high level to your needs. So this is a niche specific feature. And obviously in this video, I can only give one niche as an example. And that's why I created Custom Objects AI, your advanced AI expert persona that's trained on go high level custom objects and will help you optimize and utilize custom objects for any specific niche. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's copy this entire 11 page AI expert persona because again, it's trained on custom objects and the help and support articles that high level has provided from them. You can easily access this Google Doc. I'll show you how in just a second. Copy this entire text text, paste it into your favorite AI prompting tool. For me, it's ChatGPT, but you might use Gemini, you might use Claude or whatever other AI prompting tool you're using right now. And you can just copy all this text in there, uh, paste it in, and then you have your AI expert persona ready to rock and roll. And now I can say I'm a vet, just as simple as that. And now uh, this Custom Objects AI is telling me, great, since your vet custom objects for pets would be a perfect fit to help you manage pet records, medical history, vaccinations, and associations with pet owners. Here's how we can set this up and go high level to stream on your workflow. So as soon as you create this AI expert persona within your prompting tool, you can pretty much just tell it your niche and it will tell you how to use and create custom objects for you. So first, define your custom object. Second, add custom fields for your custom object. Set up associations. If you want to, you can automate custom objects. So let's start with the first step and let's define our custom objects. For that, you go into your high level account. We'll wanna be in the settings tab down here on the bottom left and we'll find custom objects or they just called it objects right here, right next to custom fields and custom values because they have some things in common if you understand the concept. Once you're on this page, you'll go ahead and you'll click add custom object. And again, once you leverage this AI expert persona that I created in this Google doc right here, you'll pretty much be able to just copy and paste all the data that it gives you. So for this example, again, I'm saying I'm a vet and I'm creating custom objects for a vet. So an object that we don't have in the CRM yet is a pet. And obviously a veterinarian deals with owners, which would be contacts. If we go back to high level, owners would be contacts. Owners, I guess they could have companies, but you see that yes, we could create custom fields within contacts and have a pet and their pet name under contacts, but really the pet is its own entity, its own object, and that's exactly where these custom objects come in. So let's go ahead and create this one. We've got pet, the singular custom object name, then the plural is just gonna be pets. Uh, that we've got already. And then we've got the primary dis uh, display field name. We'll go ahead and put in pet name. If we find the right tab, we'll go ahead and put that in right there. And then field type, we've only got this one option right here. But within that, those few seconds, you've pretty much created a custom object already. Uh, we can select any sort of object or icon here. And so we can go ahead and add an icon of paw print, dog, cat, whatever we want. So we'll go back into high level and we'll select an icon. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, a, a dog is a typical vet pet. So let's go ahead and add a cute fluffy dog right here. And then the custom object description is also provided for us from ChatGPT in this case. So we'll go ahead and copy this over. So pet, this custom object is described as it stores the pet's details, medical history and vaccination records linked to pet owners. And these details like medical history, vaccination records are basically gonna be custom fields underneath this object. And so you can see this AI expert persona right here didn't only define the custom object, but it also suggested custom fields that we should add to this custom object pets. So once you're done with step number one, you can go back into your account and you can create that custom object. 
Once we've created this custom object, you'll see it pop up right here and you'll actually see it pop up on the left side of your account right here below opportunities as well because it's a new object within the system. And so if you want access to custom objects AI and this 11 page prompt that's again trained on custom objects within high level, it's completely free. All you have to do is go to the link right down below this video. It's gonna be gosmarterflow.com slash community this link right here and you'll be able to create a free profile within our free community we've already got 262 members from there you'll just go into the learning section and you'll go into the treasure chest this is where i want to give away all of my freebies this is the first video where i'm uh, giving away the freebie in here so you just click on that uh, module and obviously if we go back real fast there's a lot of other modules so if you want to learn my entire snapshot watch these modules uh, that i give away to all my clients that you can get uh, if you're an affiliate of mine in high level if you want near to high level and you want to access to my high level onboarding watch this module if you want to learn how i leverage ai just like i'm leveraging it right now you can watch this module but back to the treasure chest once you're in here, you just click on one dot custom objects AI and you'll find the Google doc right here. You can access it, hit control A and just paste in this entire prompt, just like I did into your AI prompting tool. And you'll have this AI expert persona ready to rock and roll completely for free. So as a next step, custom objects AI is asking us to add custom fields for pets uh, to the custom objects. And we'll start with pet name. I think that's a very logical one <laughs> that we will need. So we'll go back into settings, back into objects. And then once you click up here on the right, you can hit edit uh, if you wanna change anything or add custom fields and start creating custom fields. And this is just how we're creating custom fields within the contact where we can create custom fields and associate them specifically to that object pretty much. And this AI expert persona is already also telling us like, hey, this is a single line text. So we can go back in here, single line text. We'll hit next. We'll put in the field name, pet name, pet object. And so again, objects can be contacts. It can be companies as we saw earlier, but it's also opportunities. And so hopefully by now, if you see these different object categories, you can see how powerful and how personalized you can create the high level CRM once you create multiple of these objects and you create associations between the um, between the objects. So, so for example, and we'll get into that in just a second, but so yes, we wanna create this for the pet. We wanna group it under pet info. It's just that one group that we have and we can hit save. So once you've created that custom field, you'll see it populate under your custom fields, pet name, pet, and it's uh, again uh, ordered under the folder pet info and it populates pretty much just like other uh, custom fields within the system. Uh, from there, if we wanted to, we could create another one, which would be breed here. Uh, that's what custom objects AI is uh, suggesting. So let's go back to objects. Let's add another one real fast, add custom fields. And that was a dropdown. So we can do dropdown multiple. Well, it would be a dropdown single. You can't, well, I guess a breed could be a mix, but I would make it its own option right here. So let's add a couple of dog breeds here real fast or so yeah you could have dog braids you could have just dog cat uh, yeah because it's it's pet in general so we'll go ahead and add dog here we'll add an option we'll do cat and I, instead of breed I would probably call this animal dog cat uh, and we'll add another one kangaroo whatever you want to add you can add right here as your your animal or your breed and we'll hit save and we do have to add a group again, so we'll hit save again. Uh, but that's pretty much how you create the custom fields within these custom objects and associate them with it. And you can see once you understand these different custom fields, like this is definitely data that a vet would want to have within their CRM system and would want to easily save and update within their CRM system. So that's why Varun was so excited about this feature because it's such a powerful feature. And again, lets you take the basis of high level, but then customize it for each and every niche. And so other examples would be species, uh, which is kind of similar to what we just had, date of birth, uh, weight, what, what's, how much does this animal weigh, weigh? What's their vaccination status? Very important. Is it up to date? Is it due soon? Are they overdue? When was their last vaccination date? So again, uh, try this out. And again, use this free AI prompt that I created and say like, hey, I'm a plumber. And then uh, use 
it to specify and uh, personalize high level for your specific niche and your specific business. And I know a lot of people watching this video are agencies catering to multiple niches, just like myself. So uh, the idea of this prompt was to just make you uh, make it as easy, accessible and explain it and help you understand custom objects for any niche. And I love that once you have a great prompt in ChatGPT, it's so easy to just give it a little bit of info and it just spits out fire information immediately. But back to the third step is setting up associations. So once we have custom fields set up, we go back into our custom objects, we select it, we edit it, and we set up associations. And so this is still something that High Level is working on, but the idea of this is, hey, what's the relationship or the association between contacts and the pets that we just created? So let's give it a label and you can see that custom objects AI is suggesting two labels, owner and pet. So we can jump back here instead of a single label, we can select a pair. And if you were in real estate, for example, this could be buyer and seller. But here again, uh, the pets are pet and the contacts are owner. So we'll go ahead and add that. And if you want to save custom objects AI within ChatGPT, you can easily open up the sidebar here. You can go into the chat and just rename it. And uh, the idea is to just save it as, uh, again, whatever AI expert persona it is, so that if you ever have to come back to it and you can see I have different, <laughs> different AI expert personas uh, saved, then it's just easy to save them either in a chat or under an entire uh, own project. And you can see associations. We still have some stuff that's grayed out just because high level is still working on this feature. I think it's going to be very, very powerful down the road. Uh, but again, it's still relatively new and we'll be able to kind of preview the associations, the link between those two objects. So we'll go ahead and hit save for here. Oops, I hit on extend lease. Uh, chat support widget right here. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And by the way, custom objects is actually a feature that's only available on the 497 plan, just like customizable dashboards. And so yes, you could upgrade to the 497 for your own business if you wanted to, but it would be a waste of money, to be honest. Uh, the best way to get access to the 497 features is to just transfer your sub account over to an existing agency uh, like mine that's on the 497 plan. And then you'll pay the same 97, but instead of paying high level, you just pay the agency, you get all the same features or even more in my case with our snapshot, you would get access to Extendly right here, their 24 seven chat support, you could book unlimited one on one zoom calls with them. So if uh, you get a lot of tutorials right here around all of the high level features. Um, so really the chat support and the zoom support is amazing through Extendly. Um, and again, if you want access to custom objects, you can't see it in your account yet, you would just transfer your sub account now over. And instead of logging in under app.gohighlevel.com, you would log in under app.gosmarterflow.com and pay the same $97 a month. If you have any questions around that, just uh, comment them down below, or you can ask me within our free community right here. You can see people are asking questions and we're getting back to them and helping them make the most out of high level. And last but definitely not least is for automating the pet related workflows. So obviously custom objects are not its own entity that just flies around. No, they're also included in workflows. So once you're in your high level account, you can go into the automation section and you can create a workflow and you'll see once you add a custom object, you can do a workflow based on that custom object. So let's select that. And this is the normal workflow stuff. So if you want to learn about workflows, I do have some very solid tutorials in my community under Automation Unleashed, where again, I show my entire snapshot. If you want to learn that, then um, you can watch those. But the idea of these workflows is that you would have a trigger at the top. And then once that trigger happens, you would change the data. So for example, if we wanted to send vaccination reminders for these pets, then the trigger would be if their next vaccination date is due in seven days, or let's say that a vaccination typically lasts for three years, four years, five years. And you can see how this will help a vet make recurring revenue by automating vaccination reminders because people will, will forget about it. The vet will forget about it, but high level won't forget about it. And so you could set up a simple trigger where uh, after their appointment is done and completed, two years later, three years later, whatever, again, that vaccination status change would be, uh, they send a reminder. Uh, and all of that could be done within these custom objects and within workflows within high level. So vaccination reminders, post follow up visits, uh, medication refill reminders, 
all of those are great things that you would want to automate within uh, custom objects and workflows within high level. And you could pretty much select these custom fields. These are not the best ones for this demo right now uh, for workflows, but you could say once the vaccination status has changed to overdue, then you would change something. So this is just like the normal custom fields. And just to inspire some ideas real fast, you would pretty much have your existing workflows kind of like these right here. And if you want access to my entire snapshot, my entire workflow system, then pretty much uh, just uh, sign up for high level through my affiliate link, or uh, you can also just transfer your sub account over and I'll give you access to workflows like this. And that would pretty much again mean, hey, when somebody no shows, um, then let's let's update this custom object custom field to this. Once somebody does that, then let's update this. Once somebody does this, then let's do this. So that's kind of the idea behind it. And we are kind of doing that already within these workflows right here. But instead of updating custom fields associated with context, we would just update the custom fields with that object as well. So I'm trying not to overwhelm you guys with complicated workflows like this. I hope you understand the gist of what I'm saying that custom objects can be very powerful. High level will be working on this more and more. So definitely try them out. Um, hopefully you enjoy custom objects AI. If you do go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, join the free community to get access to this again, completely for free and leverage custom objects as fast as you can. If you do have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below or join my free community and ask me a question in there. I look forward to really crushing this year. We took a little bit of a break of, uh, I haven't posted in 70 days, but we're gonna hit 10K this year. We're on the road to 10K. So if you wanna join the road to 10K, hit subscribe. And at the end of this year, we'll be at 10,000 subscribers. It's Friday night here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It's 8.47 PM. I gotta have some dinner and meet some friends, have a little bit of social life, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.